The Regional Research Coordinator at the Infectious Disease Institute, Molago, Rachel Ayanga, says Kaposarcoma is a vigorous infection since it attacks the skin and ultimately affects the functionality of the body. So the 506 uh, biopsies that were done, we had an African rate that said 74% of them were Kaposarcoma, but the final interpretation from the US pathologist said Ms. Ayanga, who made the comments at the Africa Cancer Test and Treat Initiative Conference, added that there have been innovations towards Kaposarcoma diagnosis and there is hope. To be able to, um, to, to, be able to help us diagnose KS within the skin lesion using the methods that we were using um, before, and that's the best way to do it. This is something that's still ongoing. So we developed the device within the optimal setting, we validated it. This is what I've just presented. And currently, they are carrying out validation within the world, real world setting, within Uganda and different countries. And hopefully, once the results are out, we shall be able to disseminate and promote this in real world setting. Another researcher, Dr. Hilda Mwando, also from the Infectious Disease Institute, Mulago, noted with concern that there is inadequate data on carpal sarcoma due to the fact that not much research has been conducted on the disease, but there is need for early detection. Dr. Mwando cited a community-based study conducted in Masaka and Bara Regional Referral Hospitals, which showed that there were more deaths from the disease with men leading the fatalities. A public health specialist at Uganda Cancer Institute, Dr. Alfred Jatho, attributed this to men's poor attitude to screening for prostate cancer, citing myths and erroneous beliefs. What do you say would motivate you? Would you make it reason to make a sick screening as an individual? Many of them say, only when they have the symptom. Without the symptom, they will not screen. Others say, if the treatment is free, because currently, According to a survey conducted in Uganda prisons, many men are also reluctant to disclose private health information to medical workers, yet it is necessary during cancer screening. People fear medical checkup around their private parts and the nature of the test done. Some people say they have ever experienced before they went to the prison, digital rectal exam, where the doctor uses his finger through your behind. So they say that one is a big fear to them. Other barriers to cancer screening and prevention in Uganda include lack of awareness, myths, witchcraft, and erroneous beliefs. Gloria Yurankunda, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.